Access Chapter 1. The first video I'm creating goes along with the textbooks Project 1 for Access. After this, I will create one for the case study. Please watch that video before doing the case study. First thing you need to know is what is Access. Access is a database management system. A database is comprised of a series of objects. Objects include tables, queries, forms, and reports. Each chapter we will cover one of them. This first chapter deals with creating a table. You use these tables to enter, manage, view, and print data. First thing we're going to do is following along with the book is I'm going to go ahead and open up Access 2013. Just as the book says in the first project, I'm going to open another file. Wherever you keep your files that came with the textbook is where you'll go to get them. I've got mine right here. I'm actually going to delete this table that I was creating going along with the book so we can do it together. Okay, right now the, the database called PackTrack comes with three tables. A products table, a purchase table, and a suppliers table. Each table, when I open it up, has data already in it. It's already half created for you. What we have here is we have columns and rows. The rows in an access database are known as records. The columns are known as our fields. So in this table, products, our fields are product ID, product supplier ID, units in stock, units on order, and reorder level. Notice the field names typically do not have spaces in it. The reason for that is if we take this database and put it to a website, the spaces sometimes will cause issues. So in practice, go ahead and keep your fields without any spaces, as you see here. Right now, we are in data sheet view. We create a table in design view. The book shows you a couple different methods to create tables. So I want to tell you that the way I show you and the way the book shows you, either one is right. I'm just trying to show you different ways to do it. But when we're in design view, that's where we set up our fields, our data type, and our description. Something I'm going to tell you about description right now is a lot of times when I'm doing a database, I don't always put in a description. Notice it's optional. A description to me is kind of silly. The field name kind of tells you what it is. For instance, product ID, product number, product, product description. So sometimes if I think the field name doesn't correlate to tell you exactly what that field is, then I'll put in a description, but I don't always. Another thing is the field size down here. Product ID is a 10 digit number or it can be up to 10, so they want to put 10 in there. The default is 255. Make sure if the book tells you to put a field at a specific size, you do change it. If I go and I check and you have it at 255 and it was supposed to be at 10 or 2 or 30, whatever it may be, you will lose points for that. So it's really important to make sure you're following steps. I'm going to close these tables and I'm going to create a new table called orders. Now, again, in the book, it shows you different ways to do it. You can follow the book step by step, or you can watch this video. There's multiple ways to do the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and create a table. Now, this first table that I'm creating has fields um, called supplier ID, product ID, units on order. So they have you doing it right in here by clicking, as I'm clicked in here, I'm just going to go to short text and I'm going to name it supplier ID. I'm not going to create them all. I'm just going to create a few. Um, oh, product ID. And this one is, this one's currency. It's going to be amount. It's a money one. Okay, then if I go ahead and I switch to design view, it's going to tell me I need to name the table. So I'm going to name it orders. That's what the book tells me. Now as I look here, and if I looked on, I'm trying to think, what page? I've already got auto number for the ID. 
and we'll talk about this key being the primary key in the later chapters. Supplier ID, short text. So I can go ahead and change this um, if it tells me to. I'm going to leave it at 255 right now because I'm not sure what the book has you do it. Um, product ID. It's got long text. I'm going to change that back to short text. I'm going to switch to data sheet view. I've got to save it. And data sheet view is where I would type my information. So for instance, if I'm looking at the information on page 26, the first one I'm going to type in 54 tab 101-S3 tab. The amount, I'm just kind of skipping. I don't have all the fields is $1,137.50. When I, after I, then I press enter and I would go and add the next one and so on and so forth to get all of your information added. I'm going to go ahead and save that when I'm done. Now I have four tables, the three they created and the one I added. And I will keep adding the information. Again, I'm in data sheet view to enter data and I'm in design view when I'm designing the table. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.